This video is on hypothesis testing. This is a one sample Z test and it's also a two tail test. A packaging device is set to fill detergent packets with a mean weight of 150 gram. The standard deviation is known to be 5 gram. It is important to check the machine periodically because if it is overfilling, it increases the cost of the materials. Whereas, if it is underfilling, the firm is liable to prosecution. A random sample of 25 field boxes is weighted and shows a mean net weight of 152.5 gram. Can we conclude that the machine is no longer producing the 150 gram quantities? Use a 5% significant level, that is 0.05 significant level. Let's look at the information provided. We are trying to test whether the machine really produces detergent package weight 150 gram. So, our question is mil equal to 150 gram and we know that the standard deviation which is sigma is known to be 5 gram so sigma is equal to 5 gram A random sample of 25 fuel boxes is weighted so n the sample size is 25 and it showed that the mean of this sample is equal to 152.5 gram and that is the sample mean x bar since sigma is known so a z test is appropriate now the machine can no longer produce the 150 gram quantities which are either too heavy or too light Therefore, the appropriate test is a two-tail test with null hypothesis H0 stating that mu equal to 150 gram and alternative hypothesis H1 state that mu not equal to 150 gram. The level of significance is given to be 5%. That means alpha equal to 0 0.05. Graphically, we have a two-tail test where there are critical value here. And we reject the null hypothesis if the test statistic fall within the critical region. Now this area sum up is 5% so that means this area is 0 0.025 and 0 0.025 here which is 2.5% each Using the standard normal table where the mean is zero, this critical value for the table is 1.96 and negative 1.96. How do we get this value? 
of 1.96 and negative 1.96. We get it from a table. This table is in the formula card, and you can download this table from Blackboard. This is how the table looks like. We want the critical region, this area, to be 2.5% or 0 0.025. That means this portion has area 0 0.475 as, as the area to the right of center is 0 0.5. And then you look for the area under the curve 0 0.475. You find which is here. And the value of Z is 1.96. So this Z here is 1.96. And this is how we get the value 1.96 from the table. Coming back to look at the test statistic. This is Z equal to X bar minus mu over sigma over square root n. x bar is 152.5 mu is 150 sigma equal to 5 and n is 25 equal to 2.5. We notice that the critical value is 1.96 here, and the test statistic is 2.5, which is to the right of 1.96. Therefore, the test statistic is inside the critical region, the shaded yellow part. The conclusion is to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we conclude that the mean weight produced by the machine is no longer 150 gram. We can also get the same conclusion without using the statistical table I just used. We can use a calculator. After we obtain the test statistic z equal to 2.5, you can ask yourself, what is the probability of z greater than 2.5? Remember, this is called the p-value. In this case, the calculator function is r. Set the calculator mode to statistic, which is 3. Then press AC to get out. Press Shift 1 for statistic. Select 7 for distribution. And now 3 for R. And enter 2.5. So R 2.5 is area to the right of 2.5. This is equal to 6.2097 times 10 power minus 3. And definitely, this value is less than 0 0.025. That means that Z here is somewhere where this area is 6.21. Times 10 power minus 3, which is less than 0 0.025. 
Therefore, we know that this value of z is inside the critical region. The conclusion is reject is not, which means that the machine no longer produces package with mean weight 150 grams.